Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at an OBD2 reader. So this is not just a regular OBD2 reader, this is a more pro one. And it can tell you a lot about what's going on with your vehicle. So the company name is Launch and the model number is Creator. 3008 so this is the box that it comes in pretty nice thin box here's the back and here's all the specs of what this reader has to offer and here's some stats about the product all right let's open it up and this is what we're greeted with so we got a few silica packets in here and that's to keep the moisture away so apparently this is a free gift card and tells you what you got to do to get your free gift and we have an email to the customer support very nice so here we can see the reader itself. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Wow guys, and this thing is very substantial in my hand here. It's very nice. So it's got like a rubber coating around it. And then we got this nice mesh here. Very nice buttons, large and easy to push. A large screen. Here on the side we have, looks like a USB connection. And on the top is where we're gonna connect our OBD2 cable. So here are some of the stats on the back. And it's got little feet. So when you set it down, it'll sit on them. Very nice, and it feels good in the hand. So it does have a protective film over the screen. And if you want to take that off, it comes off easily, and you can have a much nicer looking screen. All right, so here in the package, we have a quick start guide that kind of tell us what everything does here. So there's more information on the other side. Very nice. So here we have the USB cable, and this is meant to update the scan tool here with updates I think that's what it's for and the last thing we have is the main OBD2 cable so it's a nice and thick cable with a yellow end here and this is the part that will plug into the OBD2 and as you saw there that was a cap that you can put on there to keep the end here clean and so the other side here just goes into the scan tool so it just plugs in right here and then you can tighten it and you can see guys this cable is about four feet long or so so yeah pretty cool all right guys so we're sitting in my 2008 infinity g35 we'll be able to connect to this car and see if we can see any kind of information on our new reader here so every car is going to have an obd2 plug where you should be able to plug this in most of them are actually under the dash like this one is also and you can see this one is right here so but they'll be somewhere under here you know sometimes they're in the passenger area or even in weird places but so if you can't find yours maybe just google it so we're gonna take the plug here at the end and we're just gonna plug it make sure you push it in there all the way and then once you do this thing will light up by the way guys if you see anything funny going on with the screen that's just the camera the screen is actually glowing really nice so the way we operate the menus is we use the control panel here so if we click that way you can see we can choose what we want and also up and down makes us go up and down so out of curiosity let's go to the battery first and here we can see our battery voltage 13 volts with the engine on actually that seems a little weak it's supposed to be higher than that I think huh that's interesting all right as you can see you can check your battery right away and so to go back you will click the back button right here and that goes back to the menu now they have a hot button here or a quick button for the battery so if I click that it goes straight for the battery alright so I want to go to diagnose here push OK for diagnose and here we can see the different diagnosing we can do so we can read engine codes we can erase engine codes uh, emission readiness this is basically if your car is ready for emissions some data streaming from sensors I guess freeze framing O2 sensor readouts onboard monitoring of some sort and then the evap system so as you can see guys it has quite a few options to choose from and let's go ahead and read the codes here on this car and see if there's any okay so my car actually has no codes and I've never actually checked the codes on this car since I've owned it and that's nice to see that everything's fine so if you did have a code and you wanted to erase it you can go to this one and erase the code now some check engine lights that you might get could be simply at fixing it by erasing the codes and the reason for that is sometimes sensors get triggered for whatever reasons and don't reset themselves and so this will reset them at least you'll know if the check engine comes back then you definitely have a problem sometimes they don't so the next thing we can look at is the emissionist so this is for states that require emissions vehicle has to travel a certain amount of distance and time I think in order to be emissions ready so this will just tell you 
what is ready and what's not. Now, if you like reset your computer, like disconnected your battery and put it back on, you would have to drive your car for a little while before your emission's ready. So this car, because you know I haven't disconnected anything from it, you know everything is checked here that is available so it is emissions ready this is very nice for anybody that needs to know if their vehicle is ready to pass emissions because if you go to emissions they might turn you away if it's not you know all green here all right so the next thing we're going to look at is data streaming and here we can choose what items we want to view so it's loading the supported for this vehicle but well, you can see there's quite a few of them there's 43 different things that can be data streamed which is really cool so here you can find you know more specific parameters that you're looking for in a certain sensor. So if we go back, we can select items for data streaming. So let's say we want to calculate the load value. So we'll just try that out. So we'll select it. It selects it with the little check mark here with the V. So we'll go back and then we can see just that. So if you wanted to pick out just the ones you wanted to look at, you know, you'll be able to just pick those out so instead of viewing all of them you can view just the ones you want and so the last part here is actual graphing so let's go ahead and do the calculated load again and we'll go back and here you can see a graph of the load that's in real time so I just throttled it up a little bit there you can see the load jumping up and down and you can graph all the sensors that are available and you can see what they're doing so as you can see guys this reader has a lot of interesting functions all right so the next part is freeze frame and when I clicked on that it says that the vehicle does not have freeze frame so the next part is O2 sensors and here we can check all of our O2 sensors so we have four sensors total well we might have four maybe we only have two let's see okay so it says the vehicle sensor is not supported let's try two okay so yeah we do have only two so there we saw the minimum voltage and here's the maximum voltage so, so if you wanted to look closer at your O2 sensors it does have this option so apparently we're both on O2 or the number two so it does support cars with four oxygen sensors the ones that does have those okay so this is onboard monitoring so there's 19 things on my car to that you can uh, monitor so we have misfire let's see this number one misfire here all right, so these are all the things that are monitored and you can check the data on them and here's the limits of the data so this could be very valuable data here if you're looking for a problem and you're trying to figure out what it is and so the last thing we have here is the evap system and for some reason on my car it says evaporative system leak test failed so I don't know if it's because it's not compatible with my car or it actually fails the evap system so all right and that is all the diagnosing tools that we have here all right so now we're back at the main menu so we looked at diagnosed we looked at the battery let's look at the review so there's no record for check engine lights I think that's what that means the DTC so it looks like here you can review data like the overall data of what's been I guess locked look up okay so here you can look up the codes that's really neat so let's just make a random code so the way you do that is you just let's say it's P and then 0 let's say 100 let's see what P0 100 is so we'll just push enter and P0 100 is a generic mass or volume airflow circuit so as you can see guys you can look up the codes right here on the device that is super cool because you can use this tool to go ahead and diagnose what the situation is and it'll tell you what that code is on your check engine very nice so apparently you can print also from here and I'm sure that can be hooked up somehow we also have help kind of tells you what OBD is and OBD2 modes and vehicle coverage so you can find out about data streams and how that works I guess and print help so if you need to you know I guess it kind of tells you what the print option does here and here we have a setup button and if we click on that we can see that we have many different languages seven to be exact and then we can change the measure of unit record mode I guess this turns on record mode on and off and then the beeper so I just turned off the beeper so now it doesn't beep anymore so I know some of you would probably want to turn that off. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on. 
so you can hear me clicking and then the last but not least is the info and that is about the tool here all right guys and that is everything about this tool hopefully you saw everything pretty good well there yeah I'm pretty impressed with this thing because it's very professional and the options that it has the software seems to be very extensive for diagnosing problems and as you can see guys it's not a tiny little reader it's a pretty large one which makes it nice because not only can you see better and the buttons are very easy to navigate but you know it just is a more serious looking tool all right guys and this is the launch reader 3008 so if you're like me and you just need a good tool for your basic diagnosing of the vehicles that you have this is an awesome tool it can definitely give you a lot more information than other similar tools and if you're a professional and you need something you know that you can grab quick and go and check vehicles customer vehicles and things like that you know this is a great option to have for those quick diagnosing times so overall guys i would give this thing a thumbs up i really like the way it's set up and how easy it is to use i love these little buttons here you know you got your main buttons check engine button emission button and your battery button so let's say your car has a check engine all you got to do is click this and it goes straight to checking the engine you know and as you can see i don't have any faults same thing for the emissions you just click that and you know it checks the emissions so very easy to use and very intuitive so I would recommend this thing for everybody alright guys so if you want to pick this Creator 3008 OBD2 scanner then I'm gonna leave some links in the description so check those out it's on Amazon Prime and if you enjoyed this video guys then hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like this and other things I do on this channel then hit that subscribe button and as always thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one peace